All right, so the details for the AGL Super Vegito's Extreme Z Awakening have been out for about two to three hours at this point, and it's already creating a divide in the Dokkan community with some people saying that he looks absolutely insane and he's gonna be super, super strong, while others are saying that they're super disappointed and he's very underwhelming and he's gonna be kind of bad. And uh, in today's video, I want to first of all give you guys all the details, let's go through all the information first, and then I will give you guys my honest opinions and my two cents about whether I think he's going to be good or bad or somewhere in between. And obviously nobody really knows for 100% sure until we get some gameplay going and some showcases, but um, you can generally tell, like have a general feeling of how good a unit's going to be based on the details on paper, right? So anyways. Let's jump into it. What you see on the screen right now is the official uh, graphic we got from the Dokkan Twitter page, but obviously I can't read Japanese, so we gotta rely on the translations from my boy Talon on Twitter. So huge shout out to Talon for the translations. We really appreciate all the hard work you put in. And let's check it out. So I'm gonna scroll to the left here. And we have the details for the Vegito as well as the Extreme Z Awakenings for the Int 18 and STR 17, which we'll also briefly cover at the end of the video. But first, let's focus on the main event, the Vegito. So, leader skill, AGL types, key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 100%, pretty standard for the 70% leads. Super attack is immense damage and raises allies' attacks by 35%. And I'm gonna assume that's for one turn only because if it's for like the rest of the fight, that's pretty OP. So I'm assuming it's raises allies attack by 35% for one turn and passive is mitigate damage received by 80% and counters with tremendous power and that's for normal attacks only. And if HP is 40% or below, you can see incoming enemy super attacks. So think of like the uh, free to play Jace where if you have a uh, super attack coming, there's going to be a red outline around the enemy's image to warn you of that super attack. And uh, it's definitely a very unique mechanic that not a lot of units have, and it's especially useful for Vegito since while he's very, very good at taking normal attacks, he can't take supers at all. So being able to see the incoming super attack is going to be extremely, extremely clutch. And finally, if you're attacked on that turn, then he gets attack and defense plus 40%. So um, some people have asked, yo, is that attack and defense like, does it stack? So if you get hit once, it's 40%, twice 80%, three times 120%, and so on and so forth. And while I would like to say yes, uh, it's there's 99.9% .9 chance that it's not like that because that would be way, way too busted. And based on my conversations with people, um, that attack and defense plus 40% is just, just that. It doesn't go up, it's just 40% and uh, it only lasts for the turn that he's attacked. And then the next time he comes back, he needs to be attacked again to get the attack and defense plus 40%. So those are all the details, the new details for the AGL Super Vegito. And now that you guys know what's going on, oh, actually, real quick, let me show you guys the updated stats. So before at Rainbow Status, he had an attack stat of 15,840. And after Extreme Z Awakening, his Rainbow attack stat is 18,705. So an almost 3,000 uh, increase in attack. And defense goes up from 9,625 to 10,474, which is um you know about a thousand increase not a huge increase unfortunately and for a unit that kind of needed that defense at least for super attacks um i wish that the defense would have been higher but i mean it's an increase it's definitely an upgrade so those are the stats and now let's talk about what i think about this unit so first of all i think that a lot of people who are criticizing the EZA are mostly focusing on the fact that the 40% attack and defense seems very insignificant when compared to a lot of the massive numbers that massive buffs were used to these days like 150%, 200%, 250%, uh, like this AGL Zamasu, he gets 280% attack after he uh, transforms with his active skill, right? So people are used to some crazy percentages when it comes to buffs, and this guy only gets attack and defense plus 40%, so that might be 
a little bit disappointing, I guess. But um, I'm honestly okay with all of this. I think he's gonna be extremely, extremely good, guys. All right, and hear me out. So first of all, uh, some issues I see is while I love the ability to see enemy super attacks, I feel like the HP restriction is way too harsh. I think it's too limiting and I wish that it could have been maybe like 70%. Being below 40% HP is not something that's going to happen very often unless you're doing like Super Battle Road or the Legendary Goku event. And even in those cases, generally people try to build a team that's tanky enough to ensure that you don't fall below 40% or like just get your HP that low that often, right? So uh, I don't love that, but at the same time, you can think of it as like a last, you know, ditch or a last resort where it comes into effect when you need it the most, right? So when, when you're below 40% HP, um, a super attack to Super Vegito might just straight up kill you, right? So when you're that low on HP, him being able to see super attacks is when that mechanic is the most useful. But that being said, I just feel like being able to see super attacks whenever would have been the best case scenario. It would have been amazing to just be able to avoid super attacks with him at any time. But um, unfortunately, they didn't go that way. So uh, yeah, like I said, while I like that, I wish the restriction wasn't so bad. But as far as the attack and defense plus 40%, I think that is just fine because keep in mind, that this guy is coming from absolutely no attack and defense on his uh, passive at all. This guy, all he had was the damage reduction against normal attacks and then the uh, truck counter with tremendous power. So going from no buff at all to 40% is actually a huge increase. And then you take into account his um, almost 19,000 attack stat. Um, that's going to be still a pretty significant buff to him and he also has the counter still right and i don't think people realize just how busted counters are so you take that 40 percent attack buff in addition to the increased attack stat and also the counters and um I, I mean, he's going to be doing a lot of damage, guys. He's going to be doing a lot, a lot of damage. I still think he's going to be insane. Um, do I think he's going to be like the... Is he like the best new TUR in the game or new best TUR in the game? Is he going to take, uh, I don't know, STR cooler spot or anything like that? Not necessarily. I don't think he's quite up there. Um, but I do think he's like still one of the better TURs in the game for sure. Uh, maybe top five, maybe top... I don't know, somewhere, somewhere around there. I don't really know. Like, I haven't really made a list in my mind, right? But I do think it's going to be very good. Do I love the fact you have to be attacked first to get that attack and defense buff? No. But, I mean, generally speaking, since he is... You're using him to counter, right? His main thing is countering. Um, I'm assuming he's going to be attacked every single turn. So, at some point, every single turn, he's going to have the attack and defense plus 40%. And uh, while the additional 40% defense is not going to help him that much when it comes to tanking supers he's still gonna be tanking normal attacks like crazy like he's not gonna be taking damage basically from normals and uh, the extra 40% defense will help a little bit in addition to his increased defense stat right from the extremes the awakening will help him uh, at least to be able to survive supers a little bit better um, so overall I think he's really good also he gets uh, more um, attack on his super the 35% attack buff on super which he also benefits from so that's also going to allow him to do more damage and uh, if you take into account just everything like the counters and the increased attack stat and all that stuff I think he's going to be doing a pretty stupid amount of damage overall um, and uh, I do like the new mechanic <laughs> as I said many times already I do wish that it wasn't as restrictive as far as like being able to see the super attacks that are coming but um i think it will probably save your life quite a few times on those harder events on those events uh like the legendary goku event and super battle road where in those situations you really really need to be able to see a, a incoming super and uh probably save your life right so that's pretty much all i gotta say guys until more details come out or at least until we have the ability to showcase him and like do some gameplay with him. Um, I'm gonna withhold my final judgment, but 
I have a pretty good feeling about this guy. It's like, I think it's because of the fact that he's been uh, withheld from us for so long. Like this Extremes the Awakening has been um, just <laughs> hyped up for so long. He's the last 70% lead out of the five to get the EZA. And he was the best out of the 70% leads before the EZAs. And um, I think people's expectations were just a little bit too high so no matter what this ended up being it never would have been able to satisfy everybody but for people that are disappointed right now people that are um you know feeling underwhelmed just just hold hold on all right wait until we get the data download and are able to do some gameplay i'll do my own showcase obviously and uh, you guys will probably see like that he's he's very very good like extremely extremely good i don't think he's like super busted at least based on what i can see based on uh my understanding of the way the unit works after extremes the awakening i don't think it's super busted i don't think he's like the best tur in the game but i think he's up there i think he's very 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 good and you guys will see that very soon if you don't already see it. So that's the AGL Super Vegito right there, guys. The Extreme Z Awakening details are out in the open. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about it, whether you are in the, um, you know, very good camp or he's gonna be broken camp or whether you're in the, he kinda sucks camp, which I've seen some people say. I don't think anybody just straight up says like he's terrible, but there's some people that are very, very disappointed by the results so uh, let me know what you guys think let me know which side you fall on and like i said wait for the gameplay to come out and we'll know for sure at that time now let's talk quick about the int 18 and the str 17 so for the int 18 his leader skill uh, or her leader skill sorry becomes tech int and str types key plus three hp attack and defense plus 50 percent super attack is supreme damage raises attack which i believe is an infinite stack and greatly lowers defense passive changes rainbow orbs to int attack and defense plus 80 percent mitigates damage by 18 percent and when 17 is on the same rotation so i believe that's any android 17 is on the same rotation attack and defense plus 70 percent on top of the 80 percent she already gets and medium chance to dodge enemy attack and the 17 leader skill is tech int and str types key plus three hp attack and defense plus 50 percent super attack is supreme damage raises defense and that stacks infinitely as well i believe greatly lowers enemy defense and passive changes agl orbs to rainbow attack and defense plus 70 percent crit chance plus 17 percent and when HP or, and when 18 is on the same rotation, attack and defense plus an extra 80% medium chance to do an additional super attack. So um, yeah, they basically you know kind of work off each other, or I guess they can synergize with any other 17s and 18s in the game. And uh, they both look very, very good. They look like very solid Extreme Z Awakenings. So overall, I'm very satisfied. You guys know I love the androids. I'm glad that they're getting the respect. And uh, I think AGL Super Vegito got respect as well. I just feel like maybe he's not broken enough to uh, meet a lot of people's expectations. But to be real, a lot of people probably had unrealistic expectations of uh, what his ECA was gonna be and i think this is perfectly perfectly fine so yeah that's it guys those are all the details i have for you today for the 17 the 18 and the agl super vegito let me know about all your opinions in the comments down below for any of these units especially the vegito and that's it guys hopefully you enjoyed today's video hopefully you learned something along the way and as always if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.